Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we will see software engineering generations. Uh, those generations are split into traditional uh, versus modern methods. So during the video we will not go in, de in, uh, in details with uh, those methods. We, only, uh, we will only talk about uh, the chronological uh, appearance and uh, the, the characteristics of uh, those methods. So let's get started. So uh, during software crisis, many software engineering uh, methods uh, emerged. In this timeline, I identify uh, four generations. Uh, this ed identification uh, was performed uh, using two criteria. The first criteria is uh, the time of appearance of each generation. And uh, the second criteria is the, the concepts uh, brought with uh, each generation. So the first and the second generations uh, represent uh, the traditional methods, while the third and the fourth generations represent the modern methods. So now, if we want to talk about the characteristics of uh, traditional methods, we have to know that uh, those methods are plan-driven. That means that we have to follow a project plan step by step and we have to, to predict all details of this project at the beginning of the process. We have also to predict uh, any change uh, that may take place uh, later. Uh, another characteristic of uh, those methods is uh, the focus on roles rather than uh, team. So in companies which use uh, in companies which which use uh, this kind of methods, uh, we find a strict uh, hierarchical uh, uh, structure. So we find more uh, hierarchy uh, and less uh, team work. Uh, and uh, for the communication with the client, uh, in this kind of methods, the communication between the team and the client is uh, performed only at the beginning and at the end of uh, the process. Uh, so all those characteristics uh, make this kind of methods heavyweight. So now, as example of uh, traditional methods, we can talk about the waterfall uh, model. The waterfall model was proposed by Royce uh, in 1976. Another example of methods is the V model or the verification and validation model. Uh, this model was proposed uh, in the early of uh, 60s, but uh, the the only uh, reference found is uh, for Bohem uh, in 1979. Uh, so both of uh, those uh, processes is, uh, is a sequential uh, and a linear process. And uh, till today, uh, they still uh, widely use it in many top uh, corporations. Um, Another example of uh, traditional uh, methods is uh, uh, was uh, a period uh, uh, after the rise of object-oriented programming in 1967 and uh, after the definition of abstract data type. Uh, those methods are the object-oriented methods, such as the, the Bush method uh, proposed in 1986 uh, Rambo method in 19, uh, in 1990 and uh, Eva Jacobson method in 1990. So this trio uh, had uh, unified uh, their uh, approach to uh, define uh, the unified modeling language, uh, language, the UML, which was standardized in 1997. Another uh, method, uh, another traditional uh, method is uh, the spiral model. This model is a risk-oriented model and was proposed by Bohem in 1986. So now if we, we have to talk about the, the model, about the characteristics of uh, modern generation, we have to know that uh, this kind of uh, methods uh, is uh, an iteration driving. 
That means that the project uh, is uh, split into many functionality and uh, to perform a function, we have to, to use an iteration. So one iteration per uh, function. Uh, another characteristic of uh, this generation is uh, is uh, adaptive is uh, adaptive rather than predictive. This kind of uh, methods are adaptive rather than predictive. That means that uh, uh, it's uh, rapid. Uh, they are uh, rapid and uh, flexible uh, methods, uh, which answer uh, rapidly to uh, requirement change. And about uh, interaction with uh, human interaction, those uh, this kind of uh, methods uh, uh, facilitate the interaction in the company and uh, the interaction and uh, the co communication with the client. Uh, and uh, we, we have a quick and uh, an early and continuous feedback from uh, the client. So all those uh, the characteristics make this kind of, uh, of methods uh, lightweight. So now, as example of uh, modern generation, uh, we find uh, the Scrum and Agile methods. The Scrum was proposed by Jeff Sutherland in 1995, and Agile was uh, an effort of uh, many pioneers in uh, 2001, uh, we find the, also the rapid application development method uh, proposed by uh, James Martin in 1992, and uh, the component-based method proposed by Brad Cox in 1986. Another modern uh, method is the rational unified process proposed by Philip Creston in 1995. So all those uh, uh, methods uh, were, uh, were emerged uh, after the progress of Internet and uh, after the, the shift from ARPANET to, uh, to Internet. And uh, they were appeared to resolve the shortcomings of uh, traditional methods. Another example of, uh, of uh, uh, modern uh, methods uh, and concerning regarding the fourth generation, uh, this generation was a period uh, after the spread of mobile devices and after the birth of Git and GitHub technologies and the after the consolidation of activities into the cloud and, uh, and after uh, the full stack idea came or came into the play. So the main method of this generation is the DevOps method proposed by Andrew Schaeffer and Patrick Dubois in uh, 2008. So now, uh, and before uh, finishing this video, uh, I will, uh, I, I will invi I, um, I invite you, I invite you to, to answer to, to this question. So, uh, after the rise of, uh, of artificial intelligence and after the rise of intelligent system, uh, are we still using the same method? So thank you for watching. Uh, we will answer to this question in later video. Uh, hope that this video was useful for you. Uh, if you appreciate the content, uh, don't uh, forget to uh, hit the like button and to, to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.